Hello everybody, welcome to my channel once again and today we'll be talking about managing images in your presentations. That's right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to work with images, how to move your images, how to uh, resize your images and how to finally crop images in your PowerPoint presentation. So I've actually gone ahead and opened up a presentation and I also have added an image to the slide. If you don't know how to add an image or insert an image in your PowerPoint presentation, Make sure that you check out this other video that I've created where I show you multiple ways in which you can add an image to your PowerPoint presentation. So first we're going to talk about how to, how to move an image in your presentation. It's quite simple. There are actually multiple ways you could do this and I'm going to show you each of the method uh, for moving an image. The first method is using the mouse. Uh, very simple. All you got to do is just press the left key on your mouse. Assuming that you are a right-handed person using a mouse on your right hand, press the left key on your mouse and hold it and then drag the image across your slide anywhere on your slide to move the image and then when you're done once you finalize the position just release the button on your mouse and the image will move to that particular location on the slide pretty straightforward very simple right the next method that you can use to actually move an image on your presentation is using the arrow keys that's right so you can actually use any of the four arrow keys the up down right and left arrow to actually move the image here in this case I'm actually pressing the right arrow key and you can notice that ever so slightly this image is moving towards the right now this method works great when you want to actually fine-tune the position of the image with respect to other elements on your slide and you can actually use these arrow keys arrow keys to very quickly and minutely and precisely put the position of an image or for that matter any object on your slide all right, so the last method that I would want to show you on how to move an image, and this is moving an image very quickly towards one direction. Perhaps you want to move this image, you know, you want to align this image to the right of this slide or to the left or the top or the bottom. Here you can use the arrange function or the align function to move this image very quickly. Let me show you how you can do that. First, make sure that you select the image, then click on uh, either on the home tab you'll see this arrange button or you can click on the picture format option and you'll see this option to align objects right so click on this and then first thing that you would want to do is align to the left in this case assume you want to move to the top left corner of the slide click on align to left and then click once again on this option and choose align to top this will make sure that the image will very quickly move to the top left corner of your slide so these are three methods of moving an image in your PowerPoint presentation. You can use any of these three methods, rather use all of these in combination to make sure that you get the best out of moving an image in your presentation. Now I'm going to talk about how to resize images in your presentation. So let me just take the image back to the pretty much center of the slide. Now resizing images is pretty straightforward. There are a couple of methods that you can use to resize images and I'm going to show you both the methods once again. Uh, if you look at this image very carefully, you will see when you when this image is selected, only when this image is selected, you will see these dots, eight dots across the image. These are essentially options from where you can resize the image uh, on your presentation. So uh, the first method, which is very uh, very commonly used method across uh, across the board, a lot of people use this method to resize an image. And in fact, it is an incorrect method of resizing an image. Uh, which is basically you know using the, um, the the handles resize handles from the right or the left or top on the bottom basically on the sides to resize the image and let me show you what I mean so oftentimes when people want to make the image smaller what they're going to do is you know use it from uh, drag this image from the right and then drag the image from the top and they'll make the image smaller as and how they deem it fit but that is not the right way because you'll notice that as you drag it inwards the image is not looking the same way it was uh, as the original image right so basically what is happening over here is the aspect ratio of the image is also changing and you're not able to retain the image the original quality of the image original feel of the image and uh, the aspect ratio of the original image is not retained so a better way to do this is to drag the image from one of the corners of the image you can use any of the corners it doesn't really matter just drag it from one of the corners and uh, you'll notice that the image will actually uh, you know retain the aspect ratio and become smaller or bigger depending on what you're trying to do over here so this is a better way of adjusting the the size of the image and resizing the image 
Another method of resizing an image is actually using the picture format tab. So make sure that you first select the image, then again click on the picture format tab. And then over here you will see the height and the width. Here you can again input any value if you're looking for any specific value for the image, a width or a height of the image, then you can easily input the image width or a height. Um, say I'm going to just change it over here the image will become much bigger and then you can just move it to the precise position that you want on the slide. Now make sure that you, this, this option over here is enabled, which essentially enables you to lock the aspect ratio, which basically means if you change one of these options, both these options will automatically adjust according to the one of the figures that you've inputted. So these are some of the ways you can actually resize an image in PowerPoint. So now we have learned how to move an image in your presentation, how you can resize images in your presentation. Now let's talk about how we can crop an image in your PowerPoint presentation. Now bear in mind, this is not going to be an extensive video on cropping images. There's actually a lot of stuff that you can do just based on cropping an image. But I'm going to show you some of the basic methods on how you can crop your image in your presentation. So let's first understand how to use the crop feature in PowerPoint. So the, the way you do it is first make sure that you select the image and then head over to the picture format tab once the image is selected and then simply click on the crop option. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice that these black arrows or black uh, stuff that appears on your images in your PowerPoint, this basically signifies the area which is going to be visible once the image is cropped. And let me show you what I mean, right? When, once you adjust these images or once, sorry, once you adjust these handles, these are crop handles, once we move it inwards, outwards, the, wherever you want it, maybe move it up or down, you can even move it from the sides. However you want it, you can move and adjust these crop handles. And by doing so, what this is going to signify is once you're done cropping, this part of the image is going to be uh, is going to remain is going to be visible. And the part which is outside the crop handles is not going to be visible anymore, thereby cropping the image. Now, if you want to get out of the crop mode, you can either click outside over here anywhere on the slide, or you can simply press the escape key on your keyboard, and you will be done cropping, right. And if you want to crop again, simply click on the crop tool, and you will once again be in a position to be able to crop the image. So as I mentioned, you will now be able to you would have essentially cropped the image uh, by simply clicking it on the outside. Let me just uh, go back to the original size, I want to duplicate this image over here so that we retain uh, one image so that you're able to understand this better. Let's just understand how you would crop an image to fit the size of the slide right now if you notice, you could essentially just move the image directly to the top left corner and then drag the image from the one of the corners to make it fit the slide. But as you also notice that the, you know, the image has actually gone beyond the slide, and it is not fitting the slide exactly. Now here's where the crop feature will essentially come into picture. Now, select the image, go back to picture format, click on the crop button, and you can use this handle to drag it inwards. And make sure that you see this, you know, you see this scale over here, this is where the slide ends. These, this is where the slide ends. These margins essentially are the ones which indicate where your slides are. So once you drag the scale over here, drag the handle over here, you will notice that this red line appears over here. That essentially indicates that this crop handle is now matching with the slide area. So essentially let go of it and click anywhere outside the slide. Now you'll notice that the image is actually cropped and fits the slide perfectly. Isn't that cool? I hope you're enjoying this uh, information overload or at least the information that I'm sharing with you. Um, I, I really hope that you're enjoying this. And if you are enjoying this, make sure you give a like uh, to this video and also subscribe to this channel. Now, one other thing that you can actually do just to keep the video short, I don't want to keep it long now. Uh, you could just click on the crop button. What you could also do is now combine the crop with resizing or moving images, moving the image like what we learned earlier in the video. Now, once you are in the crop handle, you don't necessarily just need to move these crop handles, you can also move the image itself. So you can actually if you want to make sure that this is the focus area of the image, just bring it slightly towards the center. And you will notice now, in the revised image, you'll notice that this area or these two people in the images essentially become the center of the image that you want to retain. 
So that's how you would crop an image. There are multiple other ways you could do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you one other quick method of how you could use a crop image option. Now let's say we want to use this slide, this image to fit exactly the size of the slide. We kind of saw that in the previous method, but I'm going to show you a very quick shortcut on how you could do that. So select the image, click on the, I'm sorry, there's some issue with my lighting over here. Click on the picture format and uh, click on the crop option or rather select the image, click on the picture format. Instead of clicking on the crop option, you would want to click on this downward facing arrow and use the aspect ratio option over here. Now from this drop down, we're going to want to choose the 16 is to 9 ratio because that's the ratio of the slide. The slide is 16 units wide and 9 units high. And that's the size that I'd want to choose. If you're using a four by three dimensions for your presentation slide, then you'd want to choose that. But in this case, I'm using a 16 is to nine ratio. So I'm going to choose the 16 is to nine ratio over here, click on it. And you will notice that this image PowerPoint is essentially crop it to a 16 is to nine ratio. Now, all you got to do is just completely click outside because it's already 16 is to nine. And then you want to move the image to the top left corner of your screen and you can do that using the align button the way we did it previously and then simply drag it from one of the edges opposite edge and just drag it to fit the slide and that's how this image is actually going to fit the slide completely and perfectly i hope you've enjoyed watching this video so far and uh, you've learned a few new things in in this video even if you are a slightly more advanced user and if you have learned today, since we have learned about resizing and moving in images and even cropping an image, I'm going to invite you to watch my next video, which essentially is going to talk about how to crop images into a particular shape, how to make circular shapes with faces in, in the middle and some more, some more advanced techniques of cropping your images. So I'm going to see you in my next video and um, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in my next video.